Nancha Jen, a farmer from Semto Sub County in Nakaseke District, is one of the beneficiaries from the Foodland Project. She explains that before the project, she struggled with water scarcity for irrigation during dry season. However, with the introduction of the modern solar powered irrigation system, her farm has expanded significantly. Regarding the um, agro uh, diversity, we have uh, ensured that we promote the agro uh, ecological intensive uh, practices where we uh, encourage farmers to use the available resources uh, to improve on the yield, on their yield. And uh, some of these uh, are known, the practices are known, like for example, crop rotation, uh, mulching, but if they are well used, uh, the farmer's yield will uh, improve. Under the Foodland Project, small order farmers, food operators, have received assistance to promote nutrition responsive and sustainable agrobiodiversity. <laughs> Additionally, consumers have been involved in awareness raising and communication campaigns aimed at improving dietary diversity. By bridging the gap between food production and consumption, the project has enhanced the productivity and resilience of food supply chains, creating new market opportunities, both locally and globally. Joseph Bule, UBC.